Okay, folks. So, it's a beautiful day here. And I've got something to show you. Now, you might be asking yourself, what does a World War II tank periscope have to do with kit? Well, I'm gonna tell you, you see, this periscope was vital for one of Kit's greatest stunts. And today, I'm gonna to tell you a little bit about how this periscope was used, and we're gonna do you one better. You're gonna hear from the special effects guys on the show who came up with this periscope idea for Kit. You're not gonna to wanna to miss this. Let's get going. So when you think of Kit and all of the incredible things that the car can do, at least on the show, what's the number one thing you think of? Well, probably the car could talk, right? What's the number two thing, thing you think of? Well, the par, car could turbo boost. Okay, fine. What's the number three thing you think about? The number three thing is probably how Kit can drive himself. Now, we all know, spoiler alert, Kit couldn't actually drive by himself. No, in reality, there was a stunt guy in the car driving, they call it blind driving. He would sit in a specially designed PMD seat that would actually have a cavity in the middle. This, this flap of the seat would fold up, stuntman would get in, and he would use this opening in the seat to look out the window there'd be a small stunt wheel with a telescoping steering column sitting like right back here, and that's how he would drive the car. Now, all of this time, for years and years, we thought that the stunt guy would actually have his face right on the other side of this opening in the seat. There was a mesh, a black mesh, which you can see here in the seat to, to hide the stunt guy. And we always thought that his eyes were right back there and he would be driving kind of like this. Well, last year, and actually this is because of the semi, we tracked down uh, Larry Fioretto and George Zamora. Now, Larry was the head of special effects at Universal Studios and George worked in the special effects department as well. And they both worked on Knight Rider. And one of the things that they came up with was using a periscope in the blind drive seat. Now, when they told us this, this was the first we had ever heard of a periscope being used because we have lots of behind the scenes photos from the show. We have photos of people sitting in the seat, never saw a periscope. Um, but when AJ was out there last year, um, Larry and George pulled out one of the original periscopes that they still have. Um, and told us how they use it. It was absolutely fascinating. So naturally, the first thing we did was, you know, go on eBay and buy one of our own. Um, this is from World War II. It's uh, Army Surplus. This was a tank periscope. It was mounted in a tank, and it would go something like this, right? So you look in here, in this bottom area, and you can see out the top. So you can see how this probably would have come in handy for something like a blind drive seat. So, I don't know if I can shove myself in the back seat of this car and kind of give you a rough idea of how this worked, um, especially because in this stunt car, the seat is actually permanently all the way back. Um, so, but let's give it a try. All right, so this is going to be 
probably kind of embarrassing. Let's see if we can get back in here. Oh, so, all right, well, I can fit back in here, but I can't obviously get in the seat. But just to give you guys an idea, the, they had a blind drive seat, like I said, specially constructed, looked like a PNB seat, was actually hollowed out a little bit wider. Periscope would sit like right here, okay? So whenever the stunt guy, Jack Gill, Andy Gill, whoever was blind driving the car, they'd actually sit down. They'd, they'd lean down further and use the bottom part of the periscope to look in, it would reflect up and out and they'd be able to see out the windshield. And actually this makes, you know, now that we know this, this makes more sense because we know the blind drive cars, um, their brake and throttle pedals we're in pretty much the same location as a factory car. So if you think about it, if you're sitting in the back seat and you're sitting up, there's no way your legs, your feet could reach the pedals. But if you're crouched down, if you're at an angle and you're sitting way down here and your body is almost horizontal and you have this, well, then that makes sense. So um, pretty neat, these are really, these are readily available on eBay. Not that you guys need to go out and buy army surplus periscopes, but you can if you want. So let's go ahead and um, take a listen to the actual guys who were there who came up with the idea of using a periscope. Larry Fioretto, head of special effects at Universal Studios, and George Zamora. Um, this is only a snippet of our multi-hour conversation with them where they tell us all kinds of amazing behind the scenes with Knight Rider. We'll share the rest of that with you some other time. But for now, let's talk about the Periscope. Do you remember? Oh boy. You still have that? Oh boy. Oh. This kind of stuff is magic. It's a Periscope. And what was it used in? Well, you I mean, tell us. the blind drive cars, the blind drive cars usually had somebody hidden behind the seat, in the seat, wearing the seat, something. This is yeah. how Jack would see. That's drive how he car. would drive the car. Down low like this. This was built into the seat. Yeah. And there was He a... didn't have his head up there? No. no. We always thought he had his head up there. No. Uh-uh. There was a, there's the a blind panel. drive. There was a panel on the upholstery of the seat that this was behind. So this sat like this in the seat. And if you look, and you'll see on the, in the seat cushions, there's a panel in there. Yeah. Yeah. And we just and had a, we, we know we know the we, panel. We, we always a, thought his eyes were there. No. 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 We didn't know this was. He was there. low. He was very low in the car. He, yeah. They had to make sure you never but, saw him. Yeah. And you didn't see the because looking low at and this back here, into the seat, built into the seat. Head, right. We tried it originally. We tried that, and I think a couple of shows we did that actually. <laughs> But what happened was there was a, they caught his head a couple of times. His head was like right here. Okay. See, so yeah. this enabled his head to be that much farther down, so he could lay down sometimes and still look out and drive. This is may I? Yeah. It's yeah. it's heavy. These it, it, it's solid acrylic, right? These were, no, these are uh, army. Uh, came out of the uh, tanks. tanks. This is what they use in army tanks in the Second World War. Well, now that just makes perfect sense. And look, it says fifteen dollars tank there periscope. You know, there it is. So is this the, is this one of the ones you used on Night Rider? Is oh, this yeah. another yeah. one you got at Army Surplus no, later? No. I had we had probably I think five Jeez. or six of these we bought. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's absolutely fantastic. And you, you saved one of them. Tank Periscope, $15. That's where we can... <laughs> That's before it became a Knight Rider Tank Periscope. Exactly, that's right. <laughs> yeah, you guys are cloudy, but we can see you. Yeah. Well, how old oh, yeah, is that? If you how hold it up that? and look through it, yeah, it works great. <laughs> That's that's and that's I just too much, why, guys. That's why I saved it. I figured, oh, we'll use it for something one day. Uh, well, I'm sure glad you did, because before before now, we always believed that it was that, that the yeah. eyes were there at that panel, and we started out that way. It was like, sure. oh, we, you know, how are we going to blind drive this car? 
So and so was this just glued? This was glued or strapped into the seat yeah, so that it wouldn't I, fall down. Yeah, to be honest, I don't remember exactly how, but somehow we had it mounted to. It was a special seat that we. Used. Yeah. Oh yes, so and we and we have pictures of that. It's like, oh, we're going to blind drive the car. Yeah. Okay, that means the fix goes gets flops out the seat, puts this in. Right, but but these seats. Uh, you know, again, these were established by the time you guys got there, right? Yeah. So we're looking at this, and you see how his That's eyes. Where it is. That's That's yeah, it is. but yeah. you see why we think his eyes line up with. Well, yeah, but you see how you see how close his head is. Yeah, it's it's too high, isn't it's too it? Too high. Right. It's way too high. Right. Yeah. No. It's... So then we see. So we came up with this panel that we had. Because mm -hmm. that was all existing. Right. Is that Jack Gill? There? No, no. That's Who this is, is that? this is one of Barris's workers when this oh, thing oh. came to Barris's shop because Barris would always take pictures of the stuff that you guys did yeah, and right. say he did. Right. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Exactly. Oh yeah. So <laughs> here here we have the back of it. Now mm -hmm. was it exactly like this or did Barris make some changes to this for this picture? No, this was original. Uh, uh, and we did we built this seat so Jack could sit in the back and do this. Okay, but then when they started seeing the top of his head, and then, because we used to do a lot of stuff on Night Rider on a crane, mm -hmm. so they'd have a crane that could be up high and then swoop down and follow the cars that went by or something like that. Right. So that's when they were like, "Oh, we're seeing Jack's head. We're seeing the head." So it was like, "Okay, oh, camera, what are we a gonna camera do? on a crane." A yeah, crane camera. camera. Okay, yeah, yes. on a crane. Right. So they could follow okay. the car right. and then go up at the See, end. I kind of remember like a, a draping behind that. Yes. Well, well there, yeah. there would have been a cloth yeah. over yeah. the top. Yeah, right. So you couldn't exactly. see him. So you couldn't tell that he was in there. Uh, but putting putting this in, and I think, I, I don't know, Bobby Phillips, somebody came up with the idea. And it's like, hey, we need like a periscope. Yeah. And yeah, I remember that. somebody found out. this or said, hey, they used to sell that, I can buy these at the surplus store, we got one. Apex. <laughs> well, yeah, and we put it in and it was like, hey, this is it. And that solved our problem. Apex Electronics, of course. This piece was always there, so we just came up with a black mesh stuff mm -hmm. that he could still see through. Yep. Because I remember the first time. And then we modified the seat. We took out all the other stuff so Jack could get in there. And I remember the first time Jack came into the shop and we said, hey, we got something new for the blind driver. He got in and he was like, oh, great. Hey. And he just loved so, it. So, which, so this, if you guys didn't start working until third season, that means that two seasons happened without this. That's how they did the first two seasons, right With, there. Without this. Without this. Well, maybe that's, that's why we think that, you know, the head, that their head, you know, was up there like that because... Because yeah. for the first two seasons it was. Yeah, right? nobody came up with the idea of a periscope. I mean, come Very on, cool. pretty mm -hmm. simple. Yeah. Well, this is yeah. this is the kind of golden stuff. Oh, there stuff. you go. This yeah. is what we're talking this about. Golden. This is yeah. no, it really is. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, it it really is. It really is. All right, so there you go. Who knew that one of Kit's most famous stunts couldn't have been possible with a night without a 1940s era tank periscope. You learn something new every day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think I'm just going to hang out in the back of Kit here and maybe take a nap. Um, we'll be back again real soon with more content. Until then, thanks so much for watching and we will see you next time. I wonder if this makes a good pillow. Oh, nope. it's me kit when I'm not out fighting crime I like to follow my friends at nightwriterhistorians.com check it out <laughs>